Hi, my friend, it's Pat Sloan here on New Year's Eve. I'm ready to party <laughs> with my New Year's Eve hat. <laughs> if party means quilting in the evening, then you might be my friend. <laughs> okay, so we are doing another block of Woodland Wonderland for this coming week. And it is the last big block. So we're going to get that one done, get her done. It's this one. And here it is from the kit. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. I love it. Now it has these square and a square blocks, which you can use these papers. So if you got papers from doing one of the other projects that I did, you saw them and you liked them. I have a video where I talked about how you use them. So that's right up here. It's also linked in the description box and it's at my website today. So remember that I, whoops, I put things in the description box so that you can go there and get the links. And on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, there are also articles at my website. So here we go. This guy goes approximately over here. And that is where I'm at. I did a bunch of things you can see. So I did the tree, the tree piece. So I sewed all that together. I sewed up the gnome piece. Look how cute that is. Look at the alphabet. See how, see how the alphabet is on his belt buckle. I love it. And put him over here. I've got both of the uh, branches sewn and I marked them. I put a label on them and you can see the label up at the top so that I know what's the left side because they are actually based on the whole layout. The either end of them are different on those stems. So you want to mark them somehow so that you, you know, I just put here, I'll show you. I've got it pinned up here. So what I did was clipped. I made a note and then just clipped it. So that's the bottom left and that way I won't lose track and, you know, mess up. <laughs> Don't want to mess up. I also put together these guys. So I have these and the, whoops, and the little um, friendship stars up at the top. So we have all of those things. Now, okay, there we go. <laughs> So there are a lot of other parts for this. We are in the last chapter, which is all these setting things. So after uh, you do this last big block, then there's a lot of little pieces. There's some trees. There's a tree on either side of the gnome and mushrooms. That'll be next week, along with probably some spacers. Uh, there's another little set above him of, um, what are they like? I think they're little shoe fly blocks, right? Yeah. So you can see here, this one, that also has to be made. So if you want to work ahead on any of those, and then, you know, there's a lot of little setting strips with squares, plus the beautiful flying geese down the side. <laughs> I would highly recommend that if you are not a big fan of flying geese and you want to put them in, that you start sewing your flying geese now. Just start making some of them as you go along. And that way it won't be this big, you know, thing at the end where you're stuck doing a bunch of flying geese and you don't really care for making them. If you make a few of them this week, a few of them next week, a few of them the week after, then at the end you'll have all of them done. And make them and sew them together. Don't just make a pile of them. Sew them units so that each week you make, you know, like five or six, whatever it is. And then by the end of January, you'll have them all. And you might just get on a roll and get them all done. <laughs> that happens, doesn't it? That's what happened to me with the holiday homies. I got out, I showed you on the last video, I got out the uh, um, sashings that need the star points and I have them all done because I just decided to just keep rolling through and get them finished versus, um, you know, doing them as I'm sewing other things. I decided that it was late one evening and I'm like, you know what? I can just zoom, 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 press, trim, zoom, zoom, zoom. And that's what I did. And they're done, which means I can start setting the rows of that guy. I still have to do the star points that go in the sashing on the outside. Okay. Remember, if you have not done these papers and you want a little tutorial, I did these 
and the tutorial I think is for this one uh, using the papers I have got the binding on my home is and I have the hanging sleeve, sleeve stitched I am thrilled uh, I did though have a big sort of oops while doing this it was just insane it totally was insane so let me do a clip right here I'll just show you that because before I show you the quilt uh, well I know better than to do this what I'm doing here's the home is quilt and binding ready and I have a label and I put the sleeve on and I glued the label on and I want to turn it over to fold it and look I had not trimmed the quilt I thought I had trimmed it because I glanced quickly and the batting is you know blended I didn't see that it wasn't there and it looked like a straight edge because I trimmed a lot of the stuff off so <laughs> I'll just remove this all it is is clipped and there's glue so I will just take that off and trim the trim the top let me hold up the home is Ta-da! Whoops. Ah, it's on the cord. Okay. Here we go. So I did a stripe binding. There we are. And I want, I'm going to show you the label here in a second. Here's the back, which I did. This is Morrison Park fabric in the back. I am just loving the blue. I want to get this hung. I want to get this done so I can hang it in my living room on the wall behind my couch. Okay. So I did an extra. I had an extra block which I still have to sew that down. So there's the label and then I'll write on it in the white area. So that was extra block from the quilt. Very excited to be able to hang that one up and enjoy it. I love doing all the blue fabrics and going through my, you know, when we did that, I went through everything looking for fun fabrics to use. I had sort of that starter bundle. So that was just, it was, it was wonderful. Um, it's kind of like the happy everything where, you know, I'm using what I own rather than starting from a collection. I mean, I love working both ways. So it's just fun to switch it up and be able to go back and forth. Okay. Speaking of uh, collections, <laughs> I, I need to sort through all my stuff. I did one thing, which I'll show you in another week or so where I did a little sorting and I was doing something late the other night and I thought, Oh, I should have taped this to show you, but it was so late. And I just, you know, hard when it's like after 10 o'clock I just really can't be taping but I will tell you what I did but going through the things I remembered <laughs> I remembered after I saw it <laughs> that I got this ladybird fabric it's so cute so I got this to do a sort of springy I um oh my stars and I'm going to do it I'm going to put that up probably be in like right after I can get my wall cleared off because as soon as I do the woodsy, I'll do this one because seriously, it's gray and dreary here and I'm just kind of sick of it. So I need something happy. Uh, and these, oh, my stars go so fast. Here's the main floral. Then I got two other pieces. Um, this will probably, this will be the stars. So it'll pop out. I'm not sure what that one was for. This is the border. This maybe this is a binding. I don't know, <laughs> but here's the ladybird fabric and it has of course those yellows and orange i'll just leave those so you can see them all but also has a white base on it for the prints and then you go into the yellow look look at that this is just going to be so fun then it has a peach so that peach tones look oh, see the little bird look at the bird so sweet i got the peach tones and then see the teal coming in so there is also teal in the line. There's a darker peach. I love that. There's the orange that I have for the stars. And then here comes the teal aqua. Um, there's another print with that. Look at the little bird. Oh, so cute. So I don't know how many of you bought the ladybird, but if you have two charm packs. Okay, so there's a little bit of blue in here too, which I think is a fun pop. Okay, so I've got two charm packs to do an Oh My Stars. I've got the fabric and it's happy. It will make me feel so good to be making this sometime in January, uh, probably into February, so that I can have this summery or this springy, very springy fabric. <gasps> Yum. Okay, so the other thing that I got 
is my friend Kate that owns the Confidence Stitch. She showed Montana mittens and I'm like, Montana mittens? I need Montana mittens. So you make Montana mittens. She's in Missoula, Montana. There's Kate. <laughs> oh, so she sent me a kit for the Montana mittens and it comes, it's, there's, I'm gonna pop a picture here. So this is what they look like. Uh, and I got the, the gray, tan, and red, 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 everything red. It has the pattern. She also sent some poly thread, comes with the kit. Uh, and I am going to make these. They feel so, they're wool, you know, this is wool. So it feels so nice. I don't have any wool right now. So it's really fun to get this. And then whatever scraps I have, or maybe I'll do like a little coaster or something fun with the scraps. Okay, so I got that from Kate at uh, the Confidence Stitch. And then I saw this and had to get it. It goes, it's part of that coffee fabric collection. Uh, and it's, um, Janet just does such cute things. She does such great fabric. And these are, you know, the little fancy coffee. Which one would you do? Which one? Okay, pick, pick, pick. I am debating. I sort of like this one here. Uh, or like the one, there's one with the button. See, she did one that has the button. I, I kind of like the heart too. So I have to do one of one of those. They're big. Those she does them on a ten inch square, so they're you know kind of they're a nice big size. And I'll just I'm gonna have to do one. So cute, so cute. Okay, what else was I doing? The thing that I was doing when it was late at night, <laughs> because I'm like, okay, I have to get this cross stitch stuff organized. So I just sort of sorted the things down, you know, tidied them up in my, my basket over here. So like my basket over here of cross stitch stuff, this I got out and then just took all of those plastic bags that are in there. Like these are needle minders and these are like the floss wraps and this is miscellaneous stuff. And then I have the actual needles um, the patterns I have are back here that are not in progress, but there was also floss and it was kind of messy. And I had gotten one of the new acrylic boxes from the Fat Quarter Shop. So this is the new acrylic boxes that they have. <gasps> they are gorgeous. And you can set one on top of the other. I only got one, but what I did is took everything that was in there, all the threads that were in there. And plus some of the threads I had used on the, pro on the monthly markings, that long one. So those are done, then I mean, that project's done. So I put those in here. So I'm gonna, I'm obviously gonna need another one of these. <laughs> but the alpha bitties also fit in here. I will talk about these more, but I wanted you to see it because I was, you know, I've got the Aura Floss and that all, they fit in there super nice. And then I just wrapped the other ones so they were tidy, you know, along there. Super excited about this. Also, I got out the joyful, whoops, what is it called? I got a joyful journal. The joyful journal for January. I got it out. Here we go. I don't have a thread kit for this, so I'm just using my own threads, which is great, except that because I'm a baby cross stitcher, I don't always pick the threads correctly. <laughs> so I picked a kind of off white to do the snowman. So let me show you that picture. So the first picture I did, um, yeah, it, it was, it turned out it was like almost the same color as the background. I'm like, really? So I had to change, I had to pick it out and change it. So here I am now. And now I've also seen that I messed up the R in January. Let me get the thread off of there. See, they look like two A's. So I gotta go unpick the R. I made one, it's just one stitch, one stitch where it shouldn't be, that's it. To make the indent, the top of the R and then the leg. So I need to take that one stitch out. But I'm using, here's the threads I'm using. Oh, I have uh, the Aura Floss. I'm doing a red scarf. So I'm gonna have a red scarf and a red uh, outline. So the outline around here will be red. And then I will do, um, I might do a heart instead of the penguin. So I might do that, do a little heart up there. Okay, so that guy's in progress. Yes. I want to thank you for the mail call. This beautiful card came from Diane in Texas. Look how sweet that is. That'd be cute on a quilt. And then I love this, the red truck from Sharon. 
and from Mary Ann who makes these. Look how cute that is. I love it. And they're from Illinois and this wonderful happy 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 truck and this is from Beth in California and she sent me some salvages which are the edges of your fabric. Look, look at the arrows on that one and it says hey it's Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> that cracks me up. So some of you asked about like how much, I mean, this is fabulous. This is more than I would use, but I probably need at least like a half an inch so that I can, you know, have enough to trim and enough fabric because when I'm doing the salvage quilt, these will go into a quilt. I don't want to have just the dots. I need to have something to overlap them because you put one down, you overlap the other one on top and then show some of the fabric through there. So there needs to be something for me to work with. So that would be the amount I am using. And sometime in 2022, I will show you which project I'm going to do with those. I'm sure I'm going to do it in 2022, but I'll show you the project. All right, my friend, we are on the last big block for um, Woodland Wonderland, and it is so beautiful. I could just see a whole quilt of these. And the papers make it so easy. You're gonna do that, and you're going to celebrate the end of 2021. Uh, I will once again stay up till midnight uh, to be sure that 2021 leaves. <laughs> it's like, I don't need to have this year hanging on any at all for next year. Uh, tomorrow is January 1st. And so be sure you come back. I will have a video because I will have the first block and a deeper concept of our year of a secret lives of color. And I'm going to show you a peak. I'll show you the diagram. It's not a peak. I'll show you the diagram of using all three sizes of um, shoe fly blocks for the quilt. Okay, are you ready? You ready to, you ready to uh, take this year out? <laughs> Sounds horrible, doesn't it? But that's the way I feel. Okay, let's go. Out you go. Um, remember also that Yoga with Adrienne in January, she does a yoga every day. And so I am going to do that again. Uh, link is below so you can get in on that. I love you. Mwah. Happy New Year. <laughs> See you online.